China's president warns his country is facing a grave situation as the coronavirus outbreak spreads. More than 50 million people in China now face strict controls on their movement. We report from inside the isolation zone where the outbreak began. The police have told us that we can drive in but we can't drive out. So it seems that this whole province where the coronavirus first broke out is now going to be locked down. Hello, very good evening to you. China's president has warned that his country faces a grave situation as the deadly coronavirus spreads with increasing speed. Tens of millions of people in China are now facing strict controls on their movement. The virus is known to have killed more than 40 people, with more than 1,300 people infected since the outbreak began in the city of Wuhan. Well, here, the Department of Health says 31 people tested for the virus have all been given the all clear. Well, our China correspondent Stephen McDonnell has been to the province of Hubei, much of which is under strict quarantine, and has sent this report. The approaches to Hubei province are like scenes from an apocalyptic movie. Only after a temperature scan can you pass these checkpoints. The unwell are not allowed to travel. What's more, the lockdown is spreading. Roads out of the infection zone are being closed. So, basically, that's the border that way. Uh, the police have told us that we can drive in, but we can't drive out. So it seems that this whole province where the coronavirus first broke out is now going to be locked down. We cross the border and drive through ghost towns. Instead of Lunar New Year celebrations, people are in survival mode. On the first day of the year of the rat, all these shops are closed. There's pretty much nobody on the street here. I mean, this is just one of the towns you come across when you first enter the province and people just don't know for how long it's going to be like this, for how long they have to stay indoors or risk being infected with this potentially deadly coronavirus, which causes pneumonia. Hospitals here have been flooded with patients. There are thousands who run well, but are not sure if their symptoms mean it's the coronavirus. One man inside this hospital speaks to us from his hospital bed. He said he hasn't been told if he's contracted the potentially deadly virus, but he's worried he could catch it anyway from others in his ward. I wish him a speedy recovery and the police arrive as if on cue. They won't confirm if a province-wide lockdown of 60 million people is about to start. Plus local officials want us to leave. So as night falls, they escort us back across the border. Well, Stephen's joined, uh, joins us now by crossing into the neighbouring province of Hanan. Stephen, uh, the president then speaking of the country as a whole facing this grave situation. Here in Hernan, the authorities have their own headaches dealing with this coronavirus emergency in this city and other cities along the border. Transport restrictions are in place, but think of how much worse the situation could become. In Wuhan, hundreds of thousands of people left there seeking help in other cities before it was shut down. They were taking the virus with them. And so for this reason, the Chinese government is considering in the mega cities of Beijing, of Shanghai, implementing more restrictions on people's movements.